You're good to go, Steve. Uh, Paula seesaw game. Uh, they made a few plays down the end, hit some free throws. Game could have gone either way. It was a seesaw game, and, and, and give, give credit to Umso for, for what they did tonight. But, you know, we had a point, and we had a great lead in that third quarter. And when you start to get a lead and build like that on a game that's going back and forth, you, you've really got to push it. And we got that lead because we were playing great defense and we, we were attacking the basket. And then, you know, we went down. I thought we had two to three not real good offensive series followed by a couple bad defensive series. And all of a sudden, that led them right back in the game. And then from that point, you know, it was just possession by possession. Shots weren't falling either in the fourth quarter, and that really hurt. It, it did. And, 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 and we'll be fine shooting. We're a, better, we're, we're a better offensive team. We've got a lot of kids that, that can put the ball in the basket. And I, and I thought in the fourth, we really struggled finding the ground. Can I assume there's a lot of teaching moments out of today's game moving forward? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, you know... We're not happy with this. We're obviously going to be very frustrated with it, but I think it's a, you know, whether it's a wake up or whether it's a challenge or what that is, I know, I know our team will take that as such. And we just have to stay locked in each and every possession. I thought we played some great possessions and then it'd come down late and we just have, you know, it might be one breakdown late where they'd attack on us and we foul or something like that. But we, we've got to, we've got to play solid defense. I was a little bit, um, I'm frustrated with the rebounds. I think we're a better rebounding team, and we, we can't allow that many rebounds. Yeah, they out rebound you 40 to 36, and uh, Laporta came off the bench, did a good job for him, 13 points and 10, and uh, Fletcher hit some uh, key free throws. There at the she, end hit some, she hit some big shots down there yeah. late on the free throw line, and, and uh, you know, 11, I thought, I thought did a great job. Just She just got the ball and was just aggressive. She just put it off the bounce and took it. Uh, Lauren came through with some good big plays for you at the end to bring you back. She did. I thought we were struggling a little bit offensively, and um, we ran a couple things for Lauren, and honestly she executed perfectly and, and attacked the rim just like she needs to and finished. Looking at the season-wise, I mean, you got to be excited to bring back the core that you do bring back, a lot of experience. Yeah, we've got, we've got a lot of experience. I think you know, this is going to be a good ball club. We've got a lot of work to do to get to that point, obviously. And as long as we buy in and we know the workload that we have to put in, I think we'll be fine. But we've got to, you know, we've got to step up and make sure we're putting in the work daily. And, you know, part of that's going to be getting in a lot of extra shots because when it came down late in the game, you know, I don't think it was our legs. I don't think it was anything like that. But we've got to be able to drop some more shots and play a little bit more solid. Of the new faces tonight, what do you see? Um, you know, I, I thought I thought Janae gives us – you know, another great combination at the guard. She's, she's quick. She did a great job in some denial. Um, you know, I know she hit a three. I think she can hit a few more of those, but, but gives us another, you know, really athletic and quick guard. Um, I thought she did a good job. You know, Allie's just that. Allie's just going to play hard all the time. You know, she's going to come in, and, and she's not afraid of contact. She's not afraid to bang and fight. And, and I thought she, you know, she came in and gave us some great minutes. And I, I think the one that... Um, you know, did a great job was Lyric Boone coming in there in the first half when we had our post in foul trouble, and, and she came in and, and gave us great minutes with rebounding, scoring, and, and everything. I thought she did very well. And it looks like you can kind of pick your matchups. I mean, it looked like at one time Don Shell might have been the tallest player on the floor for you since almost like a five guard. It is. We, we kind of went with that four guards several times because I felt like when we were going defensively and getting aggressive, I felt like our four guards could create a little bit more and attack a little bit more. And Don Shell looks like a matchup nightmare where she can handle the ball, post up, and do what you kind of. She need is, to do. and and I think Don Shell's even gonna, you know, she she got it was that first game. She's all excited. She took a couple quick shots, and I think she if she just slows herself down a little bit and and you know just kind of takes her time, I think she's a tough matchup. It looks like you can go small or big there, depending on the situation and maybe depending on who's playing the fast who. Maybe it's who uh, plays the most, plays the best. We yeah. can, and I, and I think the biggest challenge when you go small mm -hmm. is the rebounding. Yeah. It's not the challenge for what we can do offensively. I think the challenge is making sure both on the offensive and defensive boards that we really, I mean, they have to go even harder because we don't have our bigs in there at that moment. Okay, Paula, thank, hey, right. thank next you. Next games, they start counting, don't they? It's going. It's on. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Yep. Lauren, can we get you for a second? Yeah. Spotlight on here. Yeah. All of you. They made some nice plays down the stretch, but they uh, they seem to make just a couple more plays than you did. Um. Yeah, I give them credit that every time you know we we made a mistake, they definitely took advantage of it. So I give them credit for just you know continuing to push on throughout the game. How much urgency is there for you going into this season? It's your last year here. You're in your hometown. 
Um, I definitely want to make this season count. Like you said, it's my last season. It's hometown. And I like the group of girls, you know, that we have. We're all returners, and it's the last for a couple of us. So I think our goal is to really just continue to get better each and every day and try to win that OVC championship and continue. And it looks like you guys can kind of maybe not just one player steps up. It may not be Beck. It may not be you, but it could be Bell. It just seems like it could be any of you. That's what I like about this team. We're very deep. Anyone at any given moment can step up when one of us is maybe in foul trouble or one of our shots is just, you know, not falling or we're frustrated that game. We have the ability for kids to come off of the bench or other kids who are out there to just step up and take over as well. Personally, what's sort of your goal for this year? <laughs> Personally, I just want to do what I can, whether that's play defense, whether that's score, whether that's just the person who gives enthusiasm, just help our team win. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, Lauren. Thank, Thank you, Lauren. guys. Go Cougars!